Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. In stem flow regulation. What is it and how is it used to efficiently water, to utilize water in irrigation on the landscape? Well, there's a friend of mine named Ted Serkin, owner of Valvet Systems, based in Woodland Hills, California, that invented this technology is called in-stem flow regulation. And what it means is that we have a regulator inside the stem here. And what it does, it controls the amount of water that comes through the sprinkler hits, the stem. As you can see, the stem is in an upright position, so the water is on, so the valve is turned on. And what I'm gonna do is show you how we install the, um, the spray hits and how we use the instant flow regulation um, aspect of this pop-up to be able to efficiently uh, put down the water and also to save water. We have this key that goes into the side here and these are some of the tools that Ted recommends that we use some small channel locks in order to turn the stem because he doesn't want you to use this as a leverage in order to turn the heads back and forth and right here on the side, there's a little hole that we put in this Allen key, like that. And that's how we do our adjustments to the stem, or to the flow regulator. These are Eritrol Pro Series 6 inch pop-ups. And these pop-ups, they have a little thing on the top where the water, in order to flush out the, the head, the water, this flap comes up and the water flushes out, like so. so in order to clear the lines, what we normally do is uh, turn the sprinklers on and all the water is flying everywhere. So you can imagine if you got 10 or 12 hits on a line that you're getting this water that's flying all over the place. One of the reasons why Ted invented this was to quit getting drenched by um, turning on the sprinkler heads in order to flush out the, the lines. And so we can, we're able to save water by not having water fly all over the place and we can flush out the head to get any debris or any rocks out of it. And as you can see, we control the flow by adjusting this little Allen wrench. And I have some MP rotator nozzles here. I have an 800 series and I have a 1000 series. So we're going to use the 1000 series to water this area here, which is a, a backyard area. We're going to put in utility ground cover. So I just Put in that the MP rotator, give it a little bit of a tug to tighten it up, turn it on, and as you can see, we're able to have the adjustment down really low right now. And what I can do is we adjust the MP from left to right, so we'll just make a little bit of a turn with the, the uh, channel locks, then we can open it up, as you see. And with this adjustment here, we're able to control the amount of water that's coming out. And one thing about this, this instant flow technology is it causes the water to fall in droplets. All these stems are pressure regulated. So from the standpoint of regulating the amount of pressure, if you got a high pressure situation or low pressure, it really doesn't matter because this instant technology helps to compensate for that. And as you can see, it's really throwing it out. And so a series 1000 really isn't conducive for this little short area, so we'll take it off and put on a 500 series of an MP rotator nozzle. So we'll put it in like that. The 800 series means it's like about 8 feet, 8 to 9 feet. 1000 is 10 feet and more. So turn it on, let them make some adjustments because all the rotators are not the same from the standpoint of the starting points, but you always start from the left to the right. Now we open it up and you can see that now that water is falling right within a range where we can be able to adjust it accordingly. The benefits from this technology is we're able to reduce the amount of water by 30%. It's been tested at the Irrigation Technology Institute up in Fresno, California. Ted had his products tested, so it has been proven to save water at least 30%. And as you can see, we're able to get that water right within the range in the zone and we can crank that thing down to almost two to three feet. 
or we can open her up and really have it throw that water out of there. So just this addition alone is very valuable from the standpoint of water efficiency and usage. And you don't have to buy the whole pop-up, you can buy just the stems. You go on the TED's website, valvetsystems.com, and you can order these, um, in stems, these stems online and do a retrofit to different models of pop-ups, Rainbird, Ear Troll, uh, Hunter, Toro. Ted has a whole line of different pop-ups, stems that you can do a replacement or you can buy the whole pop-up. He sells 4 inch, 6 inch, and I think 12 inch pop-ups. This is a, a 6 incher, and so I'm going to go around. We have different heads that are here, and as you can see they're in the upright position so they're ready to be flushed out and ready to be retrofitted with the uh, MP rotators and we can move on for a job. So that's your irrigation tip for today is utilizing in-stem technology to help efficiently water your landscape and also it makes shrub heads and other water saving devices so just check out Ted's website and get with it. Ed Wallace tips and ideas Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com.